What is up you guys? Welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you my very first ever Moina bag unboxing that I purchased from 24S. The thing with 24S is that sometimes the stock photo can be different to the description itself. So I wanted to share the whole experience with you guys because it is quite special. But before I jump into doing that, I'd just like to introduce myself for those who are new. Hello, my name is Kim and I'm a crazy bag lover. I live and breathe bags. I love jewelry. I love fashion. If that's your cup of tea, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and join the family. I would love to have you back. And Make sure you click on the notification bell as well so you don't miss out on my future uploads. And with that being said, let's jump right into this video. When I received this box, I knew straight away that this doesn't have the original Moina box. Oh, so it says, open with joy. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. You always get these little pop outs. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Open the box up. Quite a weighty bag. It's got a very nice soft dust bag. It says Moina Paris on the front. <laughs> Ta-da! That's quite a soft bag. Oh, but it's not exactly what I was after. Oh, so this one here is the Moina Josephine in the Polar with Prussian Blue, which is like a taro colored gray. And then you've got the Prussian Blue, which is on the bottom here. The description said that it was Polar slash Prue. The stock photo looked like it was Tortorelle slash Black. It turned out to be this colorway. I mean, it is such a cute bag and it is a really nice compact size. So it is a city bag. It's more elongated this way. It's got a heavy bottom, which looks quite cute with the little nub corners. I just find the whole design quite sweet. So this bag comes in two different sizes. You've got the PM, which is this size, and then you've got the GM. GM, which is really big. It's, it's like a travel size bag. You can fit like a big laptop in it. This is more of the more neutral of the other colors that they have on the website. And there is another color combo that I absolutely love that I've seen on the Marina Bay Sands Moina website, which is like a mango and a gray, which is absolutely stunning. I love that because it's like a fun, fresh colorway. I think that one's really cute. There's one slip pocket. Certificate of authenticity. The outside is made from Torilon leather and the inside is made from calf leather. And then the inside you get, what is this? Another dust bag. These dust bags are very thick, luscious and soft. And then you've got the shoulder strap. It's got four cute little feet, which is square. And this bag is a weighted bag. It's full leather, inside and out. Everything is hand stitched, which I absolutely love. So you know that you're getting something that is exceptional quality. Incredible craftsmanship. The turn lock detail is stunning. The lining on the inside is made from a pearl calfskin. So over time, this calfskin will darken in color. And then it says Moina Paris made in France. So when I first saw the Moina Josephine, I couldn't understand the whole design. But the more I looked at this bag, the more I fell in love with it. And the more I looked at it, the more it reminded me of a steamer boat. It's got like this curvature that goes in and out. You've got the bridge. Then you've got the river under the bridge, and then here, this curved shape, which is quite signature to Moina, it is like the boats that go through the river, go under the bridge. And this little closing locking mechanism reminds me of the lock and the key, which is like the heart of France. Shit. Now, the great thing with Moina bags is that they are made from start to finish by one artisan, hand-stitched, hand-glazed. The hardware is gilded in precious metals, such as true gold or palladium. In this case, this one is gilded with palladium so it will not tarnish. A lot of people have said that this bag reminds them of the Hermes Bolide. I think that it does look quite similar to the Bolide and it's a great alternative. And you can wear this one multiple ways. Handheld, crook of the arm, crossbody, on the shoulder. This is such a great versatile bag. This bag first came out in 2019. This bag was actually first called the June and now they called it the Josephine which is quite fitting because it's such a pretty bag. Now this bag was only released for about a year before Moinaz decided to discontinue this bag. So this bag is currently being discontinued at the moment, which is quite sad because I've just fallen in love with it. Now, one of the other reasons why I wanted to get this bag before it was discontinued was because this is a Ramesh Nair design. Ramesh Nair 
has stepped down as being the creative director of Moina since July this year. The creative director of Louis Vuitton has moved over. Like what Ramesh has said, quoting his words, is that the whole philosophy with Moina bags is that it's like invisible luxury. When you understand the whole concept of Moina, when you understand the design, that is when you will appreciate it. And so when I first looked at this bag, I didn't understand it. I didn't see the beauty in it. But the more I looked at it, the more it's like a piece of artwork it's quite mysterious even though it's quite simple however it's quite understated and that's a thing with Ramesh Nair's designs his designs are quite understated and that's that's what I have here the leather on this is like a really nice look how soft it is you don't have anything in it it just flops because it's quite heavy it's made from really high quality materials. Mona use the same tannery that Hermes uses for their leathers. So you're getting the best dyes, you're getting the most best quality leathers, the best craftsmanship, the best absolutely everything. This is why I wanted to get my very first ever Moina bag and why the Josephine appealed to me. Now the thing that I love about the Josephine is the turn lock mechanism. This is a gorgeous painted design, T twist and turn easy access, no zipper pulls. You can take stuff in and out of the uh, bag very easily. There's no zipper, there's no fuss. Easy to pop this back in and just turn it and it's secure and it's quite hard to get inside the bag and get stuff out. So I think this is such a great genius design and idea and yeah, I just love the whole concept behind this and I think it's very, very adorable. So yeah, it's, it's <laughs> It's floppy with nothing in it. It's very, very cute. Probably have to get a bag organizer. This one was on 24S at 2,866 Australian dollars. They currently have a promotion to get 10% off this price. And then because I had a $570 voucher from my previous purchase, and then I used that credit towards this one. So all up, I paid about 2,000 and something with shop back. I was able to get, I think it was 6.3% cash back on this as well. So all up, this bag turned out to be 1,800 and something after cash back and I think that's such a fantastic price point for a bag that has so much history and so much craftsmanship and so much passion behind this brand it's such a great buy and it's quite a shame that this bag is being discontinued so that is it for today's video of my Moina Josephine PM bag unboxing for today I hope you guys enjoyed it it was definitely not the colorway as expected so I'm definitely gonna have to try it out with my wardrobe see how it suits even though I got a fantastic price on it I'm not really sure but it is such a darling cute size. I would love to add more Moina bags in my collection and probably more Josephines if I do end up keeping this one I might try and purchase you know other different colorways. I just wish that 24S would stock more colorways and more neutrals but I think this is like yeah it's a, it's a very cute design and I understand the whole concept of this and I love it. I'd love to know your thoughts on this particular Josephine this colorway this color combo. Would you keep it or would you return it? Let's try it on and see what it looks like. Yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please take care until next time. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be drawing the giveaway winner out, which I'm so excited about. So thank you all to every one of those of you who have entered. I got a total of 298 entries and I went through all the entries and double checked to make sure they adhere to all the terms and conditions. There was about 49 who didn't, so I had to delete those because there was double entries. I only allowed one entry per person. And yeah, so total now I have 249 entries. So for those of you who um, adhere to all the terms and conditions, thank you all so much. Uh, that gives you an extra, like, gives you an extra 49 uh, chances of winning the giveaway. So I'm going to draw it out with random.org just to draw a random number out of 249 and I'm going to share that with you. Right, so here is the Google form and I've got a total of 249 entries. Now I'm going to go over to random.org and uh, key in the number of entries, so 249 and then it's going to generate a random number out of that number. So good luck guys. The winner is 
Oh my gosh, number one. Are you kidding me? <gasps> oh, that is so awesome. So it's like the first person who filled in the form, which is this one here. And the winner is Kelly at Core. Oh my gosh, congrats, babe. So congratulations, Kelly at Core. I will be in contact with you shortly after I edit this video and announce it on my um, YouTube and Instagram. So I'm so excited and I can't wait for you to receive your awesome Louis Vuitton reverse monogram card holder. Congratulations. I am so shocked because you wouldn't think like number one will pop up, but she was the very first one to enter the giveaway. So you don't know your luck and um, she's very lucky. And I just wanted to say a huge thank you so much for everyone who entered the giveaway, everyone for showing me so much love and support. So it's all about luck. If you don't enter, you don't win. So um, thank you guys so much for entering and yeah, good luck to the next one. And I will see you in my next video. I'll see, I'll see you soon. Head over to Instagram. I'll see you over there. Bye.